What can I do for you? Let's see. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, I'll do what it says. Oh, I forgot to mention. There was a message for you. Soha sent word for you to meet her at the dry docks. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Yoma! Get up there, don't you? Yanwa beat you here. Looks like she talked Jewel into fighting for her. She's a crafty one. Jewel and I don't exactly get along, so it's probably best if I stay behind. Less of a body count that way. I've tussled with her enough to know she's a good fighter. Stick with her and Yanwa. You'll find what you're looking for. I'll be waiting. 
Good luck. Are you ready? Treasure to find, boys. Move out! to find the Naryu Sarasva. Now I'm using Jewel to get into the Naryu Temple. This is gonna help us find Mushin's legacy. I just know it. Come on, let's go! expect the handsome country doctor to be one of the three sages, did you? I had my reasons for keeping you in the dark back in Sandstone Refuge. But now, you are ready for the truth. I am one of the sages, a keeper of Mushin's legacy. The sage's task is to pass Mushin's power on to a worthy descendant. I know you seek Mushin's legacy. My question is, do you seek it to save the people of Sandstone Refuge? or to gain the strength necessary for your revenge. Mushin's legacy contains immense power, enough to challenge the Dark Lord himself. A being such as Jin Soyun would be no match for its strength. You lack control as always. Consider your intentions while you search. Do you seek peace or revenge? How about a riddle instead? At its feet, place gold and silver. With Mushin's blood will life be brought. Unto wings which then will soar high above where Mushin rests. This is so frustrating! Gold and silver, wings, Mushin's blood? This is giving me a headache. I'm gonna go back to the Mirage to think this over. What in the Four Realms happened in there? The sky went dark and all these spirits appeared. Yeah, that sounds like the Naryu. Everything's a damn riddle. I don't know what it means, but I'm sure the Dahlia would. Yonkai soldiers have spotted them around the Shadow Mist Crypt. Word is they're a Shadowless faction. Don't know much about the Shadowless, but people say they were Mushin's private army. They protected the Mu family after his death, but later split into factions. Kiron the Red is the leader of the Dahlia. He'd know what the riddle means, but he won't give it up without a fight. Meet me at the Shadow Mist Crypt.
Wind stride unavailable at this time. If it isn't the Hong Moon Adventurer, I hope you don't mind. I started without you. Oh, I can drink like a Ute. <laughs> Come over here. I want to talk about Master Hong. Just listen to what I got to say, please. Master Hong was like a father to me. I wanted revenge when my parents died. I wanted the world to pay. But Master showed me that my life, my soul, was more important than revenge. Which leads me to you. I see it in your eyes. You're on the same path I was on. Well, snap out of it! Sheesh, didn't the Master teach you anything? What we're doing to help the people of Sandstone Refuge, that's the path of Hong Moon. Saving people, being good, being... What was I saying? You have acquired a new quest item. Jian, please meet me at my office at your soonest convenience. It has come to my attention that you and Soha are friends. Soha has accumulated quite a sizable tab. I was hoping you would pay for it. I am kidding. I brought you here because you spoke to a sage at the Naryu Temple. I am rather curious to know what he told you. Interesting. Silver and gold may refer to the Golden Crest and the Silver Crest. It is said that they animate the wings of Mushin, a statue that guards Mushin's tomb. You mentioned Mushin's blood. To my knowledge, only a single heir still lives. That person is now the only one who can open Mushin's tomb. 
Did the sage mention anything about the whereabouts of Mushin's heir? I see. Thank you. Knowledge is more precious than gold. I'll consider Soha's tab paid in full. However, your friend Yanwa still hasn't paid for her room and board. Please give her a... I do have employees to pay. It's starting to get on my nerves. Have you found anything? So it's about the golden and the silver crests? There's a statue called the Wings of Mushin at Mushin's tomb? Okay, but where's the tomb? Where are the crests? Ugh, this is hopeless. Back when I was a scrawny lad and Yunsang was a much less scrawny lad, we traveled through the Cinderlands in search of treasure. We went to the Great Kiln and got wind of a silver crest made for Mushin by the potters. We thought about stealing it, if only we had. Maybe that's our silver crest. If it is, Po Chung, the chief potter, should know something about it. You should travel there and ask about it. Oh, and you'll be just in time for the Kiln Festival. If I'm not mistaken, Chun Sam is in charge of getting the most important part of the festivities, the lightning fire. You help him, I'm sure he'll give you information. <laughs> Hey there, friend. I'm a little busy having a genuine panic attack right now. Come back later, yeah? Oh, Gil must have sent you. That's great. You're just in time to help me make the lightning fire. That'll really impress Pochung, the head potter. Let's start by talking Plogle. The Plogle chiefs always summon the lightning sphere for us, but they've been captured by these mean striped Plogles. I tried talking to them, but you know how Plogles are. Anywho, if you could free the Plogle chiefs and bring me back the lightning sphere, I'd really owe you one. Do it for old Chunsan. <laughs> The Latin Sphere? Hot plog! Sorry, been spending too much time around the ploggles. 
All right, now get that to the charred tree. Yeah, the tree over by the great kiln gate. The one hit by lightning and it all burnt up. It's the only tree that can hold lightning fire. Put the sphere into the tree and the lightning fire will flare up. Light a torch with it and take that on down to Pochunk. You'll be so dang happy, I bet he'll give you just about anything. Idiot Chun Sam roped you into doing his work, huh? Well, at least preparations for the kiln festival can continue now. What, you think lighting a kiln will make me hand over the potter's greatest creation? You should know a potter is not so easily impressed. You've wasted enough of my time. I have countless tasks that need doing before the kiln festival begins. Be gone from my sight. Hmm. If you are truly desperate, I suppose you could get the mandrake sprouts. The old drunk Jack Dan can explain how to get them. Don't <laughs> Please move closer. Never mind, I don't care. Go away. Mandrake sprouts? The kiln festival is here already? I hate the kiln festival. The potters, the lightning fire, the pots. I hate all of it. It's dull and stupid and boring. They don't even drink. Right. The mandrake sprouts I grow can fuel the lightning fire for days. In return, I get all the soju I can drink. Pots and pots of it. It's the only thing worth living for. But Mandrake Sprites love the smell of my sprouts, and the potters won't go near those floating creeps. No Mandrake Sprouts, no festival. So I need you to toss a vanishing orb at those Mandrake Sprites. They'll go wherever it is they go and leave my Mandrake Sprouts ready to pluck. Easy as ploggle pie. Check the stone lantern at the Mandrake Grotto. Should be in there. Oh, and watch out for the ploggles. Now leave me to... Whatever I was doing.
are mandrake sprouts. These will keep the lightning fire lit for the entire Kiln Festival. Ah, yes, the crest. Well, the truth is, I don't have it. Potter legend says Mushin commissioned the Silver Crest thousands of years ago. It now rests with his descendants, the Mu family, in Clear Sky Village. As if it's that easy. I'm sure the Silver Crest is still in Clear Sky Village. It's a precious thing made for Mushin himself. He was once a great general of the Naryu civilization, you know. How would I know? This all happened a pot full of centuries ago. Colonel Yankai oversees this region and likely maintains records of Clear Sky Village's population. I heard he's currently visiting a military post not far from here. Go bother him about the Mu family. How fares your search for my... Mushin's legacy. I don't see you presenting it to me, so surely you are still hard at work. Why in the hell would I waste my time on these people? I'm using my wealth for more important things, like finding the legacy. Forget all of that. You should be focusing on finding Mushin's legacy. Find Mushin's legacy, or people die. We have a problem. I found Jewel at the Great Kiln. She's been asking around about the Mu family and asking if Mushin had an heir. She threatened Po Chung, the Chief Potter, and he told her about Clear Sky. He said some of the Mu family settled there centuries ago. I went to Clear Sky to keep ahead of Jewel. I asked around about the Mu family, but came up with nothing. And now you're here. Are you looking for Mushin's heir too? So the heir could live in Clear Sky? That's a problem. The village moved supplies for Yonkai and the Grimhorn attacked their caravan. They kidnapped some villagers, so there's a good chance the Grimhorn have the air, too. They don't keep them, they eat them. If any captives are still alive, they'll be in the Grimhorn Scullery or the Altar of Champions. You go to the Altar, I'll go to the Scullery. Dynamic quest has begun. Some would be hero, huh? I don't care why you're here, just don't get in my way. You work for Yunkai? Listen, I'm grateful to you, but I want you to send Yunkai a message. Tell him that Clear Sky Village will no longer move his supplies. It's too dangerous. That woman Jewel asked me the same question. The Mu family died out during the Talistratus War. There are no more in Clear Sky, or anywhere. The Mu family was known as a clan of warriors, but the war was long and costly. All of them died except for Yasana, who was with child. But after the war, Clear Sky was attacked by mysterious assassins, and Yasana was killed. They found her body near Lotus Lake. Her infant daughter perished with her. A lotus flower marks the spot where Yasana fell. Some people claim to have seen her spirit wandering there. Her spirit still lingers there because she was not properly put to rest. I've tried myself. There are too many Grimhorn. Will you please find the lotus and bring her spirit home? We need some time to get our wits back. 
We'll meet you at Clear Sky later. Stride unavailable at this time. So, Mushin's legacy. Do you have it? Of course they do. Jongwon wants to be a tough guy. That's fine. But it will cost him one out of every ten men in Clear Sky. That sounds fair, don't you think? I'll have my most ruthless men subject them to new worlds of pain. I'll show them carnage they can't fathom. Now find the damn legacy. <laughs> There wasn't anyone named Moo at the scullery. Waste of time and bullets. You find anything? A lotus, huh? That lake is cursed by the Grimhorn. It's gonna take more than moving a flower to free her spirit. The Grimhorn's charms make them immune to the curse. Collect some and maybe we can help. Get the charms, and quickly. Good. I think Master Hong would be proud of you for helping this woman pass on. Here, I've strung the charms together. Take them to the Lotus at Lotus Lake.
I certainly didn't expect to find you at Lotus Lake. This is the place where my sister passed away years ago. I come here to pray and remember and tend to the lotus that grows from her grave. May I ask what brings you here, Gian? I see. Perhaps it is for the best. A lotus should be treasured. However, this place has been cursed by the Grimhorn. We may not be able to move the flower without killing it. Interesting. Perhaps the charms will release the curse. The Divine Realm has heard my prayers. Perhaps now I can find peace and move on. I am in your debt, Jian. How may I repay you? When I married Muyang, I knew little about the Mu family. Only after our daughter was born did I learn that his family had ties to Mushin and a legion of shadowless soldiers. My husband died in the war against the Talus Dominion. I had no time to mourn. Assassins came to our village the very next day to erase the final traces of the Mu family and claim Mushin's artifacts for themselves. I fled to the swamps. When a pair of shadowless agents passed by, I ran to them, pleading for help. A dagger cut my words short. My family had been betrayed. Some will assume I was killed by the Grimhorn. Perhaps they trust the shadowless as I did. I bled by this tree, trying to reach my daughter. A man found me just before I passed. He cradled my daughter like one of his own. Yahara, my sister, I know that you continue to search for my daughter. May you never be discouraged, and may the Divine Realm guide your way. I may have passed on, but my love for you and my daughter remains. My life is my search. I devote my time to Naryu texts, and I speak to every stranger that passes through the Mirage, all for one singular purpose, to find my niece. My niece is the last of the noble family of Mu, the blood of the Divine Fist flows in her veins. Many would try to use her to obtain Mushin's power. Yet I sense I can trust you. If your search unearths anything related to the Mu family or my niece, I humbly ask that you share. Also, please take the Lotus and honor Zheng Zhongwan's request. Yasana and her husband lived in Clear Sky Village. That is where she... <laughs> This item cannot be used at this time. It's such a good day for shopping, isn't it? Care to browse my high-quality goods? Have a good day. The prices here are so low you have to sit down to see them. Take your pick. You found Yasana's Lotus. Thank you. You don't know what this means to me. I I'm ashamed to admit it, but I love Yasana since we were children. I kept my feelings to myself because she loved Muyung. I wanted her to be happy. But now, I know it's not Muyung's fault. But I can't help but think that if she was with me, she may have lived. At least now I have something to remember her by. Thank you. Oh, and Mother wishes to speak with you. Saving my son is a debt I can never repay. My youngest is all I have left. The war was hard on our village. Is there anything I can do to help you? The Mu family's silver crest? Oh my, I haven't thought about that in a while. We just called them the Moo. 
but they were descended from Naryu. I think the crest was a decoration for a tomb. I was not privy to the Mu family's affairs, but then again, Mu Yong had many friends. Before Mu Yong went into battle, he wrote down what was to be done with his family's estate in his will and gave it to his friend Chulu for safekeeping. Chulu was called off to war as well, but he's still alive and a member of the Bakkan Brotherhood. He may still have it or know where it is. Go to the Bakkan hideout and find Chulu, but be careful. Many of the soldiers that survived the Talus Stratus War have gone mad. Remember to eat. <laughs> A dynamic quest has begun. Did you come from Clear Sky? I can never go back. Muyong? My friend? He, he's... he's dead. His will? Why do you need the will? Who are you? I can't think. The will... I, I don't trust myself. No, I, I don't trust anyone. General Kubang watches over him. Yes, the general. No, but he's dead. They're all dead. No, you killed them. So what did Chulu have to say? General Gubong, he was a talented general and warrior. He is, he was, the pride of our village. When he fought, the bodies of his enemies piled up like mountains. But success in war doesn't always translate to success in politics. He rose to power too quickly and made the wrong friends. They betrayed Gubong and executed him for treason. We erected a statue in his honor, but when Yonkai saw it, he was furious. He broke it into pieces. Chulu was most likely referring to Gubong's statue. There was an offering box tucked inside it. I'll bet that's where it is. But no one has been near the statue for years. Everyone is so afraid of Yonkai. Moss has grown over the box's hinges. Hmm, but I think I have a solution. There's a pot of boiling water outside. Take it and pour it on the statue. That should take care of the moss. It's about time we cleaned up Gubong's statue anyway. We can't be afraid of Yonkai forever. <laughs> You have acquired a new quest item. This is the last will and testament of Mu Yong, scion of the Mu family. I feel I must preserve the legacy of my lineage and make sure that my family's artifacts are not lost forever to time. If you are reading this, I hope you are of honorable intentions. 
Mushin's legacy could be a powerful tool to rid the world of corruption or bury it in it. Because of this, I hope that I have made the right decision. After much deliberation with the Shadowless, I have entrusted the Golden and Silver Crests to them. The Shadowless, who first guarded Mushin and now guard the Mu family, should take good care of them. Both Unhak of the Shadowless Lotus Faction and Gum Young of the Shadowless Orchid Faction have been vocal about securing the Golden and Silver Crests before the Talus Stratus War involves Clear Sky. The Crests are needed to acquire Mushin's legacy, and they need to be safeguarded. To claim the Crests, seek out Unhak and Gum Young. To whoever wishes to find Mushin's legacy, please use it to bring peace. We need no more wars and corruption. What did Mu Yong's will say? The Shadowless. I've heard of them, but don't know anything about them. But Yonkai should know them well. Yonkai has ordered his soldiers to invade the Naryu ruins, but the Shadowless are keeping them at bay. Yonkai would be eager to have someone rid him of a very annoying problem. Ask him, and I'm sure he'll tell you anything you want to know. Have you found Mushin's legacy for the Colonel? Unhawk? Does Unhawk have Mushin's legacy? He's in the Shadow Mist Mausoleum. Bring the legacy to the Colonel and you will be greatly rewarded. Do not fail the Colonel. <laughs> It is me, Jagdan. Jagdan the Great Sage. Jagdan the Mighty. Yes, people call me that. Never mind what Doc Dan says. So you're after Mushin's legacy. Now why would a Hung Moon student want that kind of power, eh? Well, aren't you a noble little thing? But I don't buy it. You reek of hatred. You want Mushin's power to achieve revenge, don't you? Don't lie to me. I can smell lies. My nose is mighty. Not like you'll find it anyway. You may have the Silver Crest, but you still need Mushin's blood to get into his tomb, and all of his heirs are dead. Wiped out. And on top of that, you still gotta find the Golden Crest. Yeah, I know where the second crest is, and no, I'm not telling. We sealed Mushin's legacy for a good reason. We are sages, after all. We're pretty damn wise. Sure, you want to save... Uh, whatever stone village now. But how will you act when you get your hands on the power of a god? That kind of strength brings out the evil in people. So quit looking for it. Yoma! Don't think you can find the legacy and stash it. I don't... What is this? This isn't Mushin's legacy, you idiot. It's just some hunk of metal. You're only making things harder on yourself by acting like this. Every time you fail, the Colonel takes it out on the people of Sandstone. 
After you left, the Colonel worked half the Sandstone men to their death in the mines. He had their bodies dragged into town and lit on fire. Their blood is on your hands. Now go find Mushin's legacy. Yoma! Well, none of my leads have panned out. I don't know what to do next. What about you? Any ideas? Whoa, slow down. I'd love to see you grind Yonkai into the sand, but that's not the path of Hongmoon. Remember Master Hong's teachings. Compassion, justice, acting selflessly. If you take out Yonkai, you're going against all of that. We need to keep focused on the crests. You did? Why didn't you say so in the first place? Now we'll save Sandstone Refuge for sure. Master Hong would approve, I think. Go back to Yunwa at the Mirage and give her the news. And get some rest. You look tired. The desert will do that to you. The Stratus Empire rewards those who serve with distinction. One at a time. Invalid item. The Stratus Empire rewards those who serve with distinction. One at a time. I don't know why Jin Suryun keeps you alive. Send my regards to Master to see you. What? <sighs> Sir, I thought I told you many times not to cause any trouble in my inn. Dear, are you hurt? <laughs> Just a 
scratch. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, good. But if I see you causing trouble again, you're gone. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, right. Mushin's compass points to Mushin's descendant. Does this mean she's the one? Uh, let me see. You didn't break anything, did you? Uh, it was so unexpected. Oh. I think my hands are still shaking. Now I've got bruises on bruises. Thank goodness you and Yahara were here. Do you know that guy? I think he's the one who's been following me. I guess we're not the only ones looking for Mushin's legacy. Ugh, tell me you have some good news. That's awesome! Yes, you're my good luck charm. Everything has worked out since you've been around. Now we can find the Golden Crest. Do you think that guy will show up again? That would be bad, really bad. Then he'd end up with both crests. <gasps> Wait, what if we asked Yahara to help us? I had no idea she was a martial artist. Did you see what she did to that guy? Do you think she'd help us? I don't know if she'd help me. Well, I owe her quite a bit of money, but she likes you. You should ask her. I'm counting on you, luck charm. Are you injured? The man who attacked you was shrouded in dark chi. I got the impression he knew who you were. How could someone betray the honorable Master Hong? I imagine you have a long and sad story to tell. Yanwa? Anyone who wishes to harm Yanwa will have to get through me. She will be safe as long as she's at the Mirage. I do wish more guests would pay up front. <laughs> Now, Yahara has to help us. Yes! You really are my luck charm. Everything is going according to plan. Young guy is after the legacy, too, and he's on the move. He's in Raptor's Rise right now, and I sent Gil to feel him out. Gil might have learned something by now. Go and talk to him. I'll stay here and snoop around for clues. May fortune find you. Yoma! Riju tells me you've been neglecting your duties. Need I remind you what's going to happen if you fail me? Lots of people will die, and then I will find the legacy anyway. So I will ask again, where is the legacy? No? Then I guess I should just go ahead and torch Sandstone. Don't you agree? What about Gil? 
He couldn't find his own backside with two hands and a torch. He kept prattling on about some kid named Yanwa. I had him removed from my sight. Kill him? I wouldn't waste the manpower. Last I heard, a couple of Jewel's yes-men were dragging him towards the playpen. It was hilarious. Look, my top lieutenant, Jong Richu, has been keeping a close eye on you. Everything you do, he sees. So quit touring around and do your damn job. You don't have a choice. Get the legacy, or I turn Clear Sky into a graveyard. Yeah. in the middle of an old feud. The Yes Men and the Lumang have bad blood between them. Yan Sang and Juol once had an epic duel over territory. You know how Ju... I'm saved. I got caught in the middle of an old feud. The Yes Men and the Lumang have bad blood between them. Yan Sang and Juol once had an epic duel over territory. You know how Juol wears an eye patch? That's Yan Sang's handiwork. He's a courageous warrior, but he fights dirty. She's been plotting her revenge ever since. Jewel knows that Yan Sang and I are friends, so she hunted me down and tried to force me to tell her where Yan Sang is, but he hasn't even told me. And if I, his best friend, don't know, then no one does. But what am I telling you this for? We've got bigger problems. Jewel went to Jiao Fang village looking for the Golden Crest. I, um, I may have told her about it. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to die. I had to tell her something. She's a vengeful goddess when she's bad. Beautiful and terrible. But enough about her. The Jiao Fang made the Golden Crest. I'm saved. I fit you and if I. I am. Um, but enough about her. The Jiao Fang made the Golden Crest. If anyone should know where it is, it's their mayor, we go. Go to Jiao Fang village and talk to him. I must go back to the Mirage. Yan Hua needs to know Ju Wo was after her father. And because of that, she was after me. And that if Ju Wo knew Yan Hua was Yan Sang's daughter, she'd be after her too. Oh, this is awful. This one, what brings you to our village? You must mean the emblem of gold that was made for the Divine Fist. Aye, the Jiao Fang forged it hundreds of years ago, back when the trees were tall and our people were strong. It was our gift to Mushin. Aye, the Shadowless have it. I don't know if the Shadowless actually cast shadows or not. I only know of their greed. They cling to their treasure like poisonous vines. In the early days, the Shadowless were agents loyal to Mushin and his descendants. Mushin died, kingdoms fell, and the Shadowless abandoned their honor. Now they're nothing more than another pack of predators. Is power what you seek, Fangless One? You cannot enter Mushin's tomb, even with both crests. It only opens for Mushin's heir. Go to the Elder Bark and speak with our machinist, Geobol. Perhaps he can lead you on the right path. 
Watch your step, famous one.